Welcome back to Unpack. I'm Owen Cholko, and it is March, another month. We are so excited that you are here. If you saw that intro, we tried to channel our best dude perfect impression. Obviously, didn't work out for us. Maybe it worked out for Brandon, Cameron, Levi, Liliana, a little bit more than Graham and I, but we, we tried our best at the end of the day, and it was, it was super fun to make. But guys, that is not all we have in store. If you thought that was it, you're so wrong. We have some super fun stuff planned. And first up, we've got Tess, who's going to try to make some crazy recipes that include Girl Scout cookies, which I'm, I'm interested to see, so let's see it. Hi, I'm Tess, and today I'm going to be making two separate recipes using Girl Scout cookies. The first one using Thin Mints, and the second one using Lemon Ups. Okay, so I think I have everything. Um, it calls for 10 cups of popcorn, plain. I only have Skinny Pop and I have been eating it. So I think what's just gonna happen is I'm just gonna pour this in and then call it a day. I'm gonna be honest with you. I really have not been paying attention to any of the amounts that I'm supposed to have. So, that was really scary actually. It did not improve and it smells really bad. Oh. Alexa, how long do I put in chocolate for it to melt? Hi mom. It's already clumped up mom. Yes. This one literally, I don't know like why. Oh. I have decided to set aside the first recipe for a bit and instead focus on the next one, which uses lemon up. So I just realized for this next recipe, I'm gonna have to use the stove top. Okay. This is gonna turn out good, I swear. I have so much confidence. Alexa, what is an egg yolk? According to cooksinfo.com, an egg yolk is the yellow center of an egg. Okay. 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 Wait, that wasn't even that difficult. Okay. I think I've hit like a... I was just about to say a stroke of good luck. This kind of looks like pudding, just like warm instead of cold, but it's kind of got like the consistency of pudding, right? Okay, so this is what it looks like. That is in fact not what pudding looks like. 
technically it is Thin Mint Popcorn, given that there's Thin Mint and Popcorn in this. But it's supposed to have like a lot of chocolate and there's just no chocolate. Or bake. Um, and then I should probably have some less confidence in myself when cooking and baking. Mr. Buck is a beloved member of the Kilborn staff, so today Kate and Georgia sat down with him to learn a little bit more about him. Let's check it out. Hello, Mr. Buck. What inspired you to teach history? Well, when I was in high school, it was my favorite subject. So I remember enjoying uh, my history teacher was my favorite teacher. What is the best grade to teach? That's a controversial question. <laughs> They're all great. What is your favorite day of the week? Monday, because that means we have five days of school. Are you an early bird or a night owl? Um, as I'm getting older, I'm becoming uh, more of a early bird person, I guess. What is something your students don't know about you? Um, I have a pilot's license. <laughs> Favorite thing in your classroom? Um, my old laser pointer. It was the best thing at all time. Because you could like have a little red laser light, and you can go on maps and you can point things out. It was amazing. It was truly amazing. So when they when they brought in the TVs on the, and my laser pointer didn't work anymore, it was sad. It was a sad day. What is your favorite band or singer? Uh, Jimmy Buffett, absolutely Jimmy Buffett, the best of all time. If you could time travel, what year would you go to? Oh, I would probably go back to the French Revolution. Best vacation you've ever been on? Probably when I was in college. The first time I went to Europe, I backpacked around Europe for a month. Have you lived anywhere besides Ohio? Yes, uh, for short periods of time. Like I, I, had, I rented an apartment in Paris for the fall. Uh, of one year. Say something in French. Ah, bonjour, ça va, comme vous voulez aujourd'hui? Je m'appelle Monsieur Buc. What is your <laughs> least favorite thing about the French? <laughs> mm. My least favorite thing about the French. Well, French people can come across as not being um, very f openly friendly at, at the beginning, but I always try to tell people that's not true. That they're just very more reserved in general. What's up with mango pineapple smoothies? Mango pineapple smoothies are quite possibly, I mean, they are the best thing on the planet. Remind you of the beach and palm trees. What is your favorite tie? <laughs> My favorite tie I don't wear anymore because it, it's damaged, it hurts me. How many ties do you have? Probably close to 50. What is your favorite color? I actually don't have a favorite color. <laughs> what did you want to do when you were in high school? Well, when I was in high school, I actually thought I was going to be, I was going to do either law or medicine. What is your biggest pet peeve? Um, arrogance. What is your favorite board game? Um, Trivia Pursuit. Words to live by. Words live by treat others, the golden rule, right? Treat others the way you want to be treated. Be what is something you want to be doing in 10 years? Um, 10 years? Probably being on a beach somewhere. Wasted away again in Margarita. Thank you guys so much for watching. We've got two more episodes this year, so if you want to stay up to date with those and want more info on that, you can follow at WKHS Media on all social media platforms. But until next time, I'm Owen Shulkoat. We'll see you next month. Is beloved a word? Beloved? Is it beloved or is it beloved? Same word, people just say What should I say? Beloved? What do you think? Beloved? Beloved? Beloved. I'm going beloved. That sounds cool. Beloved. Dearly, dear, dearly beloved. I thought it's a Prince song. <laughs>
I'm great. I, I don't know if the mic's gonna reach. How are you doing today? I'm good. How are you? I'm great. How are you feeling right now? You excited to be here? Uh, yeah. This is my first time being on here. It's it's very exhilarating. Yeah, it's exhilarating. It really is. Good. All right. Thanks for coming out, man. Thank you. And that was it. There was some crazy questions I asked him. So.